All right, these are the practice problems for continuous probability functions. And I'm just going to answer these so that you've got more examples to see being worked out. So number one, what type of distribution is this? This is a uniform distribution. Number two, this is an exponential. And the third one here is a normal distribution. Number four, what does the shaded area represent? It represents the probability of x being between 2 and 5. Number 5, what does the shaded area represent? The probability of x being between 6 and 7. For a continuous probability distribution of x is between 0 and 15 inclusive, what is the probability that x is greater than 15? This is a trick question. Nothing is greater than 15 because x is between 0 and 15. So the probability that it's greater than 15 is 0. 7. What's the area under f of x if the function is a continuous probability density function? Then the area is 1. Remember the area is equal to 1. Number 8. For a continuous probability distribution, if x is between 0 and 10 inclusive, what's the probability that x equals 7? Remember we did this in the example. If x equals 7, then the base is 0. 0 times anything is 0, so the probability it is 7 is 0. Number 9. A continuous probability function is restricted to the portion between x equals 0 and 7. What is the probability of 10? Again, here we go. There's 0. There's no chance that's going to be 10 because it's between 0 and 7. Number 10, f of x for a continuous probability function is 1 fifth, and the function is restricted to x is between 0 and 5 inclusive. What is the probability that x is less than 0? It's 0 because x is between 0 and 5. It's Nothing is less than 0. Number 11, f of x, a continuous probability function, is equal to 1 twelfth. If the fun and the function is restricted to x is between 0 and 12 inclusive, what's the probability of x being between 0 and 12. So the probability of this is 1, because if we were to solve this, and I'll just do this quickly, the area would be the base times height. So the base is going to be 12 times 1 12th, which is the height, which is 1. Number 12, find the probability that x falls in the shaded area. So the shaded area is between 6 and 8. Let's go ahead and find the area. Six, uh, 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 times 1 ninth. That's our base times height. When you do that, we get an answer of 0.22 repeating. So the probability is 0.22. 13. Find the probability that x falls in the shaded area. So area equals base times height. The base is 5 minus 0, which is 5. The height is 1 eighth. 5 times 1 eighth is 0.625. All right, problem number 14. Find the probability that x falls in the shaded area. So we've got area base times height. The base is here, uh, whoop. but we look like we are at, that looks like 5.5, and that looks like 2.5. So 5.5 minus 2.5 is 3 times 1 tenth, and that gives us an answer of 0.3. And then 15 says f of x, a continuous probability function, is equal to 1 third 
and the function is restricted to x being between 1 and 4 inclusive, describe the probability that x is greater than 1 half. I'm um, sorry, than 3 halves. So it's asking us to describe it and not to answer it. So the probability is equal to the area from x equals 3 halves to x equals 4 above the x-axis and up to f of x equals 1 third. So if we get this here, this is one third, this is four. We're saying x is, there's one, there's four. We're saying that it's greater than this. So it's all in here. If this is three halves. Okay, so we're saying the probability is equal to the area from x equals three halves to four here, all the way up to f of x equals one third.